The spirit's memory, in its madness, dances in your mind. You are a sensate, deaf and mute, but gifted with an unnatural ability. Dallas seeks you out and brings you here into the darkness. When the blindfold falls, Dallas bids you find and free a secret power. You close your eyes and you feel the presence of a hidden truth. You point at it and open your eyes. You are pointing at Dallas. The hammer calmly bids you try again, then steps back into the shadows. You close your eyes once more. Now the vault before you sings to you. You raise your hand to it. It opens to your touch. From the vault, you take a sword. It's weightless, yet it feels extremely powerful. More powerful even than Dallas herself, and yet fragile. A hand falls upon your shoulder. A blade crosses your throat. Blood pours. Dallas whispers, good girl, and then all goes quickly dark. Holding his arms across his chest, the Magister stares at you with baleful eyes. One by one, he points at the dead Voidwoken, the dead Magisters, the dead Silent Watchers. Then, he points at you. Your end comes, Sorcerer, just as it came for them and for me. Friedemann guided the excavation rightly. Soon, Dallas will use the Aetiran on you. And then you will be the sorcerer no longer. He says nothing, only twists his lip bitterly as he echoes, pointing at the dead. Pointing at the dead, then pointing at you. The stone relic pulls on your consciousness. You feel the tendrils of an ancient hunger trespassing within your soul, seeking something, something you have, source. As your fingertips brush the cool stone, you feel the depths of your being crack open. Your power flows from you into the relic, yet a reverse current flows back into you with a new power, a different power. A sharp electrical shock repels your hands from the stone and sends you staggering backwards. Mask of the shapeshifter. Well, that's something I want to craft, and fast. The stone relic pulls on your...
I've spotted something. Go on then. Thank you. 
The unusual tablet is marked on all sides with runic inscriptions that look like they were hacked into indecipherability with a chisel or similar instrument. As your fingertips trace these mutilated runes, your eyes flicker closed of their own accord. You see nothingness, vast, dark, and empty. You sense something ancient watching you, perusing you like a prison guard would watch a wayward ant scuttling across the floor of a cell. From within the endless emptiness, a voice hums into being and calls to you, God Woken. You sense an interest within the cold voice addressing you. Beyond the interest, you sense fangs, voracious hunger, a bottomless appetite that no sustenance could ever sate. You see your life flash before your eyes, every memory flitting by like a moth's wings at a lantern. The vision reaches the present moment and diverges into multiple strands, impossible to keep track of. Your brain aches with the effort of trying to keep up with the intelligence as it sifts through your every potential future. You see salvation and destruction and every shade of existence in between. And all of a sudden, it's over. Blackness rises once more, just as it was at the start. Eternal darkness and you. An electric feeling pulses in your fingertips and a force field of some kind pushes you away from the tablet. If that was some kind of test, I'm really not sure whether I passed or failed. The tablet looks the same, but you cannot touch it. An invisible force field of some kind prevents you from touching the mutilated runes again. The tablet seems to glow from within with a subtle light. Etched runes cover its surface. The markings feel familiar. But despite the depth of your study and learning, you have no idea what they mean. Your fingertips burn so hot, it feels like they are melting. An energy seems to travel between the tablet and your hands, sparking knowledge directly into your mind, as if you are reading with your fingers. Electrical sensations sizzle in your mind. You understand that the runes are ancient Rivalonian, the oldest known language. You feel the fragments under your fingers. An An Lesru. You know not how, but you understand the meaning of these words with the very marrow of your being. One. One must rise. Then your fingers grow cold to the bone. Suddenly, you are just a person standing in a cavern, clinging to a stone tablet as if it were a life raft. Good find. Lucky find. The little rat squeaks up at you inquisitively, beady little eyes full of something approximating intelligence. Are you a poet? Do you know it? Do I show it? I write a rhyme in my spare time. It's about a bird, but I need a word. He eyes you shrewdly, then sniffs with judgment. Not what I was looking for. Now I'll bid you good day, boar.
The little rat squeaks up at you in... Are you a poet? I write a rhyme in my spare... He eyes you shrewd... Not what I... The little rat squeaks up at you in... Are you a... I write a rhyme in my spare time. It's about a bird, but I need a word. He eyes you shrewdly. Not what I was... The little rat squeaks up at... Are you a... I write a rhyme in my... He eyes you shrewd. Not what... The little rat squeaks... Are you a... I write a rhyme in my spe... He eyes you shrewd. Not what I... The little rat squeaks... Are you a... I write a rhyme in... The little rat squeaks... Are you a... I write a rhyme in my spare time. It's about a bird. He eyes you sh... Not what... The pedestal seems empty, as if it once supported something, something powerful. You surmise that this was once the resting place of the Aetiran, until it was torn free and borne away. If this is what Dallas was looking for, then she has claimed her prize. This must be where the Magisters found the Aetiran. The pedestal seems empty. If this is what Dallas was...
He was a saboteur and paid the price. Do you want to meet the same enemy? No, 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 madam. I'll get a replacement there right away. Best avoid any open flames around this lot. saboteur and paid the price. Yeah. 
captain you executed was the only one who knew how to operate it. He was a saboteur and paid the price. You want to meet the same end as he did?
Right where I want. Ha, ha, ha. 
is mine! Yes. What is this contraption?
from somewhere deep within the inner working. Guess I know what I need to do now. From somewhere deep within the inner workings of the machine comes an irregular clanking sound, then a weak gurgle. Inoperable, it seems. From somewhere deep within the inner workings of the machine comes an irregular clanking sound, then a weak gurgle. In opera, the machine churns into life. Gears rotate and pistons hiss from somewhere within its metal housing. It settles into a slow metallic chug, ready for the, the machine churns into life. Gears rotate and pistons hiss. It settles into a slow. The machine churns into life. Gear the machine rattles, grinds and hisses for a protracted moment, building in intensity then settles down into a steady mechanical thrum, functional by the sound of it. It's working. I guess I know what I need to do now. From somewhere deep within the inner work, the machine ch it settles in the machine, it settles the machine, the machine then settles.
I've seen places like this in books. Never thought I would see something like this in reality. This, this is the archaeological discovery of a lifetime. This is more like it. That barrier could resist the great Acorn itself. What a way to die, down here in this darkness, poor soul. An elegant god for our elegant people. Ah, Duna, a true god, stout of heart and fierce of face. Ah, Tyrus and Ilius, worshipped by my people. Pray to you when I was young. Ah, Zantetsu, the goddess of mirth, worshipped by imps. The god of the orcs, Vrogir. It's Amadia, the mother of wizards. Well, that wasn't right.
relic. I used to pray. Ah, Duna, a true god, stout of heart and fierce of Worshipped by my people. God of the Orbs of Rome. Is a mirth. Worship. It's a Mardia, the mother of wisdom. Well, that wasn't right. Tears and Ilias, worshipped by my people. Ah, do not. Blessed Jules. The god of the orcs. Ha, Zantedza, the goddess of mirth. I used to worship you when I was young. That was right. The curious sculpture comes alive as you reach out to touch it. It thrums with power and throws flickering dancing shadows against the walls. The carving is covered in strange glyphs that feel oddly familiar. They surround a gently glowing stone that makes you think of the night sky rolled into a ball. Trying to read the symbols, you hear a faint whispering at the back of your mind, as if you're listening to the echoes of a past age. Your mind swims, and, for a moment, the glyphs become clear. You read, Our first lord's babes with power glowed, Our seconds born in blood that flowed, Our thirds young to the wind return, Our fourths to glowing flames adjourn. Our fifth lord's cubs with minds were blessed. Our sixths had brawn beyond the rest. Our seventh's brood spread from earth to glen, and thus no king shall rise again. You try to hold your focus as the whispering echo fades, but the letters waver, contorting and merging until they're nothing but meaningless glyphs once more. Riddle from the past. Or maybe a riddle about the past. The sculpture is covered in strange glyphs, trying to read the symbol. Your mind swim. You read, Our first lord's babes with power glowed, Our seconds born in blood that flowed. Our thirds young to the wind return, our fourths to glowing flames adjourn.
Our fifth lord's cubs with minds were blessed. Our sixths had brawn beyond the rest. Our seventh's brood spread from earth to glen, and thus no king shall rise again. You try to hold your focus. Samadia. Ah, Tyrus and Dilius. Ah, do not worship a true by God. Stout of Blessed heart. Blessed Zol Tyrson. Zantetza, the god of the orbs, Vrogir. Ralek, I used to pray to you when I was young. Business is this. I wonder what they did in life to deserve such a resting place. The creature looks down from its perch, trembling. It crawled out of that sarcophagus as if it had forgotten how to move its limbs. It turns to you, and you see its face is covered by an intricate mask. From behind its unmoving lips, you hear a noise. 
It starts as a groaning, croaking chatter, but slowly becomes more distinct. It's speaking. May Saravel te de laruntu, Shamari. The stream of noise cuts off abruptly. After a moment, you hear a jolting, lurching voice. It wears the face of Zol Stissa, but speaks the tongue of beasts. How cruel. I suspected the Seven Lords won the war after they locked me here, but seeing their faces on dumb creatures, a depressing confirmation. Gods? What is this senseless braying? The Seven Lords were Eternals, just as I am. Deep within your soul, you feel your god stirring at the sound of the voice. You can feel its anger and fear swelling inside you. The creature leans forward to get a better look at you, clucking and tutting under her breath. It seems to be a simple form at its core. A source vat. A walking, unfortunately talking, source vat. Fascinating. I wonder... How to extract the source from the vessel without... <gasps> she pulls back suddenly, recoiling in horror. It... It is rotting. Almost imperceptibly, but it decays before my eyes. It must have no more than a century or two left. The god within you reacts. Her emotions a cocktail of fury and fear. You hear her voice, demanding that you give her control, demanding your body obey her will. A terror you were. An eternity locked away was too good for you. I should have seen you ground to dust and fed to the wind. Your heresies deserve nothing less. The figure recoils, as if struck. Zol Stissa? What? What happened to you? Did you truly fall so far? Silence! It is your king that has fallen. He and all the other eternal cowards were flung into the void. And the power you were too scared to hunt has made me a god. And yet here you stand. Small, weak, decaying. I will not even need the Aetirin to grind you into the dust. You feel your god freeze at the mention of this Aetirin, a cold terror settling in your chest. Where is it? Ha! Of course you never found it. You always lacked imagination, my lady. I hid it in these very caves, although I can feel its distance now. Someone has uncovered it. Perhaps they intend to flay the godliness from you. No matter. Given your pathetic state, it is mine to collect at my leisure. As for that monstrosity you have made your shell, it was designed to die, and I think it is time that design were fulfilled. Do not worry. The source shall not be wasted. It will carry me from this tomb. It will bring me freedom at last.
fading. <laughs>